This GRE math sample question is from the topic statistics and averages. It's a hard math question. Combines two concepts, arithmetic mean and median. Set S contains the following numbers 13, 35, 47, 57, 63. It's got five positive integers. It was found that Mark had inadvertently interchanged the digits of one of the numbers. What we'll do is as we read each statement, let's comprehend what is stated, consolidate our understanding before we move any further. One of the numbers, the guy who noted it down, Mark who noted it down, noted it incorrectly. What is the mistake he made? He interchanged the digits of one of the numbers. For example, let's say the number is a 63. This guy noted it down as a 36. He incorrectly wrote it down as a 36. Steve, in charge of statistics, rectifies this error. As a result, on account of writing it incorrectly, two things happen. One, the median changed. What is the median? The median of these five numbers, as we see, is 47. Because Mark noted it down incorrectly, he got a different median. The second thing, the average shifted by 3.6. Note this word, it's shifted. The question is not saying the average increased. The question is not saying the average decreased. It's just leaving both possibilities open. For example, the number noted down incorrectly is a 63. Then he would have noted it down as a 36, which means that he is writing a number which is lesser than what should have been written. So the average would have gone down. Conversely, if the number that he noted down incorrectly had been a 57, the incorrect version would have been 75, which means the value is going up, in which case the average would have gone up. So we do not know what is happening. I'm not saying these are the numbers he has noted down incorrectly. He's saying that two things happen. One, the median changed. Second, the average shifted by 3.6. So be open to the idea of the average increasing by a 3.6 and also the possibility that for some other number, the average could go down by a 3.6. What we need to find out is, what is the number that is noted incorrectly? Which means that only one of these numbers has been noted incorrectly. We should be able to figure out what that number is. Quickly jot down all this data given to us. Talking about five positive integers. Digits of only one of these numbers has been interchanged. What happened on account of that? One, the average shifted by 3.6. Two, the median also changed. Let's say the number that he noted down incorrectly is an AB. So he wrote it as a BA. The right version, the correct version is AB. The incorrect version is BA. Let's stick to it right now. What is the first piece of data that we have? The average shifted by 3.6. How many numbers are there? There are five numbers. Five numbers, the average shifted by, let's say the correct average is an A. The average has actually become A plus or minus 3.6 is what has happened. So what will be the sum of the five numbers, the correct version, that would have been 5A. The incorrect version, the sum is number into average, which is 5A plus or minus 18. So the sum of the numbers is going to shift by five times the change in the average. So the difference the, between the correct sum of the five numbers and the incorrect sum is equal to 18. How did this incorrect sum come about? That was basically because this guy wrote an AB as a BA. So the difference between AB and BA, instead of writing it as difference, I'm writing it as AB minus BA within modulus. So it could be a minus 18 or a plus 18. We're interested only in the magnitude. So difference between writing the number as AB and BA is equal to an 18. Just run through this bit once more. Average shifted by 3.6 for five numbers. So some would have shifted by 18. So that's clear. How did the shift of 18 come about? He did not write four numbers incorrectly. He wrote them correctly. Only one of the numbers he wrote it incorrectly. That is the only number that would have contributed to the sum changing by 18. So difference between writing the number as AB and BA has to be equal to 18. We know any AB can be written as a 10A plus B, giving weights to its place weight. So this AB can be written as modulus of 10A plus B minus of BA can be written as 10B plus A. If you are not sure of this, revisit the question where we are talking about R and interchange the digits. You will understand how to go about it. This is equal to an 18. 10A minus A is a 9A. B minus 10B is a minus 9B. So modulus of 9A minus 9B equals 18. Take 9 common outside, divide both sides by 9. So what we are left with is modulus of A minus B is equal to a 2. Take 9 common and dividing both sides by 9. What is modulus of A minus B? We know that the number is AB. So for example, if the number is, let's say, a 57, we are saying the difference between the digits A and B is equal to a 2, is what we are saying. So based on this information, that the average shifted by 3.6, what we have been able to deduce is the number that he noted down incorrectly is such a number in which the difference between the tens and the units place is a 2. 57, incidentally, is one such number. I just wrote it down and it ended up being such a number. Quickly consolidate up till this point in a printed form before we move further. Average shifted by 5, so some would have shifted by 18. 
Why did the sum shift by 18? That's because of noting down this number AB as the BA. So difference between AB and BA should be equal to 18. AB can be written as 10A plus B. BA can be written as 10B plus A. So the difference between the two is modulus of 9A minus 9B. Divide both sides by 9. We get modulus of A minus B equals to. What does this mean? The difference between the units and tens place of the number that was incorrectly noted is a 2. Let's move on from here. Now, what are all the numbers in this set of fine numbers which have the difference between the units and tens place being a 2? Let's start with this. 13, 3, minus, 3 difference 1 is a 2. So this is a possibility. 35, that's also a possibility. They're given more than one number. 47, the difference is 3. We need the difference to be a 2. 57, that's one more possibility. 63, the difference is a 3. So we have shortlisted from 5 to a 3. So it could be 13, it could be 35 and it could be 57. All of this information has come from one part of the data that we have that the average shifted by 3.6. Let's check out if it is 13, will the median change because the second thing should also happen. If it's a 13, let's rewrite the numbers. The number should have been, the correct version is 13. This guy noted it down as a 31. So what is the set of numbers that he has noted it down? For him, the numbers are 31, 35, 47, 57, 63. What's a median as it stands right now? The median is a 47, which is a middle number. When he wrote this 13 as a 31, is there a change in the median? 47 still continues to be the third number. No change in the median. So 13 is not the number we are talking about. We'll go to a 57. We'll just jump to the other side and see whether it makes sense. If you wrote this 57 incorrectly, then the numbers would have been 13, 35, 47. 57 was noted down as a 75. So it goes after 63. Which is the third number from the left? 47. The median is 47. The original median was also 47. No change in median. So 57 is not the answer. So obviously that leaves us with 35. Let's verify with 35. If 35 was noted down incorrectly, he would have written this 35 as a 53. So what will be the ascending order of numbers? It's going to be 13, 47, 53, 57, 63. What is the median right now? The median is 53. What was the initial median? The initial median was a 47. Did the median change? Yes, the median also changed. Did the average shift? Yes, obviously we shortlisted these numbers by taking this average shift of 3.6. So number that was noted incorrectly by this guy is basically 35. 35 was written as 53, average shifted by 3.6 and so did the median also shifted. Note one thing, here I would like to point out one thing. By writing this 13 as a 31, the change happened on one side of the median. Median is 47. The 31 also fell on the same side of the median, which is why the median did not change. By writing the 57 as of 75, the median is a 47. He wrote this 57 as a 75. The shift happened on one side of the median. Therefore, the median did not change. By writing the 35 as a 53, the number moved from one side of the median to the other side of the median. Therefore, the median has to change and which is why 35 is the answer. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user for Visaco's online GRE course at online.visaco.com. Takes all of three minutes and two steps to get started. And lastly, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash We keep adding newer questions, give you tips, tricks on how to crack the GRE.